me, and there's a photo of me inside Jason Phil, about 10 foot tall. And he said, uh, is that you on the side of that RV? I said, yeah, brother, I'm just waiting on my driver. He said, I guess you are okay. I said, yeah, I, I'm doing all right. Who would have thought that a few years later, that crazy bunch of bearded guys on the side of that RV would have the most watched show in the history of cable television. <laughs> he had no idea he was talking to someone that was going to have their own garden on. <laughs> I tell you what, you guys are... Uh, you guys are a big part of that. The Robertson family is so thankful to you. Uh, a, just for watching the show. B, going on and talking about the show. Because you, with the help of a lot of people across America and now all over the world, are telling people in Los Angeles and New York that we want better entertainment, stuff that we can sit and watch with our kids, that's not filled with garbage. Huh? tribute to how powerful the Lord is and he would get his message out and uh, we give all the credit to him and uh, thank you guys so much for helping us. It, we haven't always been this successful, believe it or not. We, uh, growing up we were pretty poor and uh, I judged my, our success uh, off the school lunch program. When I was about this tall, we were on what they called free lunch. Me and the other three, four kids in the class, we got to go eat first. We were poor, but I didn't realize it. It was kind of cool, I got to eat first. And uh, about middle school, we went to what they called reduced. And I thought, oh, I'll feel some a few more duck calls now. Move to the middle of the line. We were doing a little bit better business. Let me tell y'all something. By the time I got to high school and I paid full price for my lunch, I thought we were multi-millionaires. <laughs> I said, we've accomplished everything in life. I had no idea that one day we'd have a chia pet. <laughs> now that's funny. <laughs> Here's the deal, we always thought we were successful. You don't have to be rich and famous to be successful. Robertson family views success a little bit differently, I think, than the world. We think it is a success to be able to go to work and have a full beard and long hair, and if you want to bathe, that's up to you. That's success. <laughs> daughter Sadie has a uh, prom dress line. We added more material to it. That's a success. <laughs> we think it's successful that we get to use this platform and go all over the country, uh, city after city. Guess what? Uh, it's the same reaction, the same thought about the show. We get to talk about our business and our faith. And the Lord, we view that as a success. We, uh, we think it is a huge success that at the end of every show, there's a prayer that is seen by now hundreds of millions of people in over a hundred countries. We think that is a success. Something. 
it's a good, good crowd for this since we're so close to Walmart. I've told this story all over the country. This is a real news story. Life-size cutout of Duck Dynasty's Willie stolen from Walmart. <laughs> Anybody ever seen the cutout? <laughs> I took a picture with one actually in Rogers, so uh, that was my picture with him on the cutout. Which is weird, but... It's a real story, this is out of New Hampshire. Thieves stole a lifestyle cutout of Duck Dynasty's Willie from the Summersworth Walmart Vision Center recently, and they want him back. <laughs> According to the Vision Center manager, Carrie McNeil, the Willie cutout was quite a hit with customers who paused to stand next to the six and a half foot tall cardboard likeness and get their picture taken. Now, what I like is, is that I'm taller on my cutout than I am in real life. <laughs> Willie was so popular that one couple made off with him on Sunday, May 12th. McNeil said a man and a woman were laughing, grabbed the cutout, put it in their car, and wheeled it out the door. Now, I've told this all over the country, and now I'm getting kind of nervous because I'm uh, so close to corporate headquarters. But uh, we've been great partners with Walmart. But uh, perhaps you have a security issue if you can put me in your car and walk out the door. <laughs> They asked for my receipt when I buy vitamins. <laughs> so I'm feeling terrible. Something's got to be done. I've got to help out Carrie. She's missing the cutout. I've got to help her out, which something has to be done. Then I read the last paragraph. McNeil noted that they did not call the police department because Willie has no real value. <laughs> so we didn't bother. <laughs> so don't take yourselves too seriously because someone will remind you that uh, you have no real value. Uh, I tell you what, we, uh, life's been full of a lot of proactive decisions that we've made to help uh, make some things happen. And we made a decision to do a show. And we thought about it, we prayed about it, and uh, I went to Dad and I said, Dad, they want us to do a big reality show to be uh, all over the world, help our business. And he went, no, nah, that'll never work. Nobody will ever watch. And I said, wait a minute, let's talk about this before we make the decision. Uh, it could help us to sell a few more duck callers. And uh, I remind him of that about once a month, that people do watch the show. We live by a motto of faith, family, and ducks in that order. Faith first, family, then ducks. Now you can put in the ducks column whatever you want to, whatever turns you on. So uh, keep your faith at the top and your family, and uh, you'll make it all right. Speaking of Phil, are there any Phil fans here? 